situation is urgent, and uh, so I think I, I have to get over my uh, general anxieties about these things. Um, uh, I think we need to put what's going on with Assange and WikiLeaks in the context of a number of uh, legislative and judicial moves that have occurred over the last decade. Uh, I would put it in the context, uh, going back to NCAA, those people who've been following know that we've lost habeas corpus. All right, that, that is the biggest change in our legal structure uh, since, uh, since the Magna Carta. Uh, we can be picked up now on the street and put in a military brig without any third party oversight, without having to be taken in front of a judge. They can disappear us, all right? And uh, when uh, courts were asked to review this law, they refused to review the law. Okay, so we have no judicial oversight of that law. It appears the law has already been used by what the government was saying in that case of requested review. Um, at the same time, we have drone assassination uh, established in the kill matrix uh, and uh, extending even to assassinating U.S. citizens. Even further, uh, one journalist who uh, has been nearly killed five times and is essentially certain that uh, he's being targeted by that kill list, uh, who is a U.S. citizen, has asked for judicial review, and again, the courts have refused to review it. Uh, you know, on top of that, Obama has refused to say that uh, the kill list couldn't be applied within the United States to U.S. citizens. All right? Now, the, in the case of Assange and WikiLeaks, this is a third move. Uh, and I've forgotten, you know, altogether about the Patriot Act and, uh, you know, global spying. But uh, with Assange and WikiLeaks, they're trying to build an official Secrets Act. Okay, in Britain, uh, if, the US de if the UK government deems something uh, to be uh, uh, an official secret, they can issue what's called a D-notice, uh, and then uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, they, stop, uh, uh, they stop all uh, uh, media from uh, publishing it. Um, they're trying to do something similar here. We don't have a law like that, so they're kind of pasting it together. They started by going after the whistleblowers using this old law, the Espionage Act, passed in 1917, to go after people who were against going into the First World War. All right? They tried to go then after journalists. They tried to go after James Risen, who had exposed some, uh, some uh, doings of the CIA that had effectively given uh, nuclear weapons plans uh, to Iran. All right? Uh, so they backed down at the, the last minute because he was willing to protect his sources. Uh, but they found in Assange the perfect case to start to build case law that the publication of government secrets <laughs> is illegal. And because of the PR around Assange, he's become such a heated figure, they figure this is a good place to start and then they can expand this case law and start going after people like Ryzen at the New York Times or anywhere else. So this situation is urgent. Uh, I really think it's uh, one of the last, uh, last steps in uh, closing up our capacity to have any, uh, uh, any uh, say in what our government is doing or even understanding of what it's doing. So uh, uh, please uh, join us, try to free Assange, uh, stop this uh, rendition uh, to the United States. Thank you. Thank you, Dave.